Alright gamers, my name is Tyler and welcome back to another Outriders video. Today I'm showing you my updated Trickster Crit DPS build. This build melts anything and everything if you play with it correctly. I'll show you all the armor, mods, skills and the skill tree I'm using as well as some gameplay tips to optimize DPS. Don't forget to subscribe. Now let's get into it. Let's start with the weapons, armor and the mods. So just like last video, I am still using the Bulwark Bleed build. However, as you can see here, I finally unlocked the Death Shield. I will eventually be using this, but for now, as I'm missing one tier 3 mod, I'm still using the Bleed build. So here on the Bulwark, I'm using, of course, Ultimate Bleeding Bullets, but the main one here is Embalmer's Rage. For 5 seconds after a killing shot, all following shots will be critical shots and you can keep this going if you keep getting kills hit firing this gun when there are multiple enemies around is key as it hits surrounding enemies due to pellet spread over to the armor you want to be looking out for bonus firepower close range damage and cooldown reduction last time i was using tanner's hat but i've changed over to ivory and bone the tier 3 mod it comes with is Kingslayer. Critical hits on enemies increase firepower by 32,000 for 6 seconds. So after I kill a trash ad, then focus on an elite enemy, I'll be hitting critical shots for 5 seconds and also increasing my DPS by 32,000 for those 6 seconds. The second mod I'm using is Instant Reload. This is a tier 3 mod that comes from the legendary helmet Ugake Otara's Cow. I hope I didn't butcher that, I probably did. Whenever you use Hunt the Prey, you fully replenish your magazine. This is basically used as a backup reload and to keep Twisted Rounds up at all times, just in case I don't finish a kill with Vampiric Mag. There is a really, really good trick you can use too. If you run out of ammo, you can teleport behind an enemy, melee, and your mag will be reloaded. The melee cancels the reload because the game still thinks you have no bullets left. If you don't have Hunt the Prey up, you can keep meleeing until it's up. Teleport, melee again, and you'll keep the mag going. The chest piece has radiation jump. Using Hunt the Prey inflicts vulnerable on the enemy you teleport behind, increasing DPS even further. Perseverance shield offering 8,875 points of shield whenever your health drops below 30% helping you stay alive long enough to get a kill to regen your health. Unfortunately, the pants are still horrible. I will be changing these out for the lower chrono suit pants once I finally have it drop. They drop with a tier 3 mod that I'm missing called Ammo Bargain, where killing shots regen 20% of your mag. That mod will replace Vampiric Mag. So, these pants, don't pay attention to the first mod there, Slasher. It doesn't fit this build at all. They're just there because the perks are good. But Twisted Fate it gives a 30% critical damage increase. Once again, we're just stacking and stacking DPS while focusing on critical hits. Down to the gloves. Additional mag, giving an extra mag of Twisted Rounds. That's of course if you have to reload. And once again, there for security in case a slip up happens. And of course a staple to make the bleed build work. Vampiric Mag, this will get swapped out as I've said earlier, once I get those pants to drop. As for the boots, Captain Hunter offering 25% damage increase to Elites. This paired with Kingslayer is a huge bump in DPS to Elites. As we know, they can be somewhat annoying things to deal with. They can freeze, bleed, poison, so getting them down quick is a must. And Emergency Stance. When health drops below 30%, Golem is activated, which is a 65% damage reduction from enemies. This pairs very nicely with Perseverance Shield, both activating at 30% health, once again giving you extra time to go get a kill and heal. For the skills, I'm using Hunt the Prey. By using Hunt the Prey, paired with the mods shown before, you inflict Vulnerable as well as fully replenishing your mag. Twisted Rounds. This skill really should never be running out. Even if you accidentally run out of ammo, you can use the Hunt the Prey trick I mentioned earlier. Venator's Knife, making the target's hit slowed, acting as a kind of crowd control. But the main thing here is the first damage dealt is doubled. 
If you have the crit perk activated, this is lethal for bosses and elites. Moving over to the skill tree, the notable nodes here are Shotgun Master, Disruptive Firepower, Outrider Executioner, Deadly Shadow for that increase of 20% for your critical damage, Bounty Hunter, Oddity Summation, and Cold Calculation. Now for some gameplay tips for this build, you want to be rushing and in the enemy's faces Hip firing with the shotgun is a great idea as it helps with damaging enemies around the enemy you're trying to shoot at. As you can see here, by the time I finish shooting all of the trash ads, the elites are either weak or dead. For some combos now, let's say you know an elite is coming out like at the start of chem plant. You want to throw Venator's Knife, giving a 35% damage increase after using it, coming from the Disruptive Firepower node on the skill tree. Killing a Trash Mob, this activates Embalmer's Rage, making all shots critical for 5 seconds. Hunt the Prey behind the Elite, inflicting Vulnerable, increasing Weapon Damage by 35% from Outrider Executioner on the skill tree. Having a full magazine from Instant Reload, the first shot does double damage from Venator's Knife, and you're doing 40% extra damage from behind the enemy. I know that was a pretty long explanation of the combo, however, the damage stacks up very quickly, and elites, bosses, those health bars will be burning very quickly. We've come to the end of the video. I hope you decide to try this build out as it is a DPS machine. When I finally get those legendary pants I've been hunting for, I'll chop and change some stuff and make a new video, but for now, I hope you have a good day, a good night, wherever you are in the world. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you next time. Peace.